Okay, let's have a quick look at these uh, introduction. Some people believe that drivers should be forced to retake their test every five years. What are the advantages and disadvantages of this? Okay, so as always, here's my introduction uh, first. So some people believe, you can say it has been argued or could be said according to some, etc. Okay, so either one of those. Uh, it could be argued, it has been said according to some. Okay, drivers should be forced, car drivers should be compelled. Okay, so we can use compelled as a synonym to retake their test. Now, we don't need to say what the test is because it's drivers, but we can say it here, take their driving test every five years, regularly every five years, because there's some things that you, you can't actually paraphrase, and indeed you don't need to. Okay, so according to some, it has been argued, Driver should be forced, car driver should be compelled, so use of passive, we're using forced instead of uh, compelled to replace forced. Retake their test, take their driving test every five years. Okay. The main advantage of this, this is what I would talk about in paragraph two, increasing public safety. So I'll be talking about, you know, as you get older, your eyesight starts to go, your hearing, you re flexors, etc. So it would make sense as people age to retake their uh, their test to make sure that their physical abilities have not changed or, or worsened. Okay. Uh, the disadvantage. Now, I know it says advantages and disadvantages. Now, you can include two. You, you know, you can. Or you can say the main advantages. So you are the author. Right, so even though it says advantages, disadvantages, if you want to, you can say, I believe the main advantage, and then explain why you think that is, in fact, the main advantage. Well, the disadvantage, or the main or major disadvantage, would be the cost of retraining and retaking the exam. So I'm going to say, okay. Some good things or positives here would be public safety. Disadvantages, retraining, retaking the exam might be uh, expensive. Okay, that's it. So put the changes on, let's have a look. According to some, that's good. Believe that driving test or the driving test, because it's a particular test, should be retaken by drivers every five years. It would have a lot of benefits for civil citizens and drivers' knowledge development in our society. Okay. But also in mm, the negative view, it would be costly and time consuming for individual drivers. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty good. It's basically exactly the same as I said. Basically the same. Okay. That's good. These. Oh, right, right. Now, this looks a little bit long for an introduction, and we've got some stuff here that we don't strictly need. Okay. So, as I've said, you know, you don't need these generalizations, you know, these, um, uh, stereotype, well, no, stereotype kind of generalization introductory, you know, we don't. You can get straight to the, uh, to the point, and I think that's always best. Get straight to the point. So these days, driving is an integral part of our modern lives. Blah blah blah. It's evident the drivers. Are, okay, okay, okay. So we could take that out, and it's not going to change the intro the effectiveness of introduction, is it? To a certain, so we could simply we could start it here. Some believe that drivers must be required to retake their test uh, in every five year period. Generally, I suppose this is good, it's not a good solution for testing the driver's ability, but it needs to a rational plan. Um, needs to a rational plan. I'm 
I'm not sure what that means. Such as classification of drivers regarding their previous driving. Uh, I'm not really clear what that means. Uh, and then we've got this waste of sentence, scope sentence, as uh, they're sometimes called. This essay will do this and that. In this essay, I will discuss both views. In this essay, I will answer the question. Well, we know that you will, because that's what you've been told to do. So this is pointless. We don't need these. We don't need these uh, empty sentences. As I mentioned in the group, I posted a couple of things, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, empty sentences. It does absolutely nothing. It's a waste of words. Okay. It is argued that it should be compulsory for drivers to, re well, they don't reconsider, they retake their license every five years. How do you spell license? License, that's it. Every five years, uh, each five year period. And if a qualification is rejected, they, well, it doesn't say anything about being rejected it doesn't say that does it it, it, uh, it simply says it should be compulsory to retake your exam so it doesn't really say this uh, it should be compulsory for drivers to retake their license every five years that's all it says while this policy can screen more reliable drivers it's likely to be associated with a lot of costs however I contend well it's okay I contend that it does more good than harm to society. Okay, okay. You don't need an article there. So, okay, it doesn't really say this, so we don't need to uh, include that. But that side, okay, okay. Not too bad. According to some, it is obligatory. Right, well, no, it should be. That's the key word. You've got your modal verb, doesn't it say? Should. Not. It currently is. It's not compulsory now, but some believe, people believe that it ought to. It should be made compulsory. Uh, obligatory to take, well, it's retake the driving test every five year period. Keeping to the new rules is the main advantage of it. Why is this worded in, in this way? Why not? In my view, the main advantage is. And what new rules are you talking about? What does that mean? You haven't mentioned any new rules before. What? Uh, hmm, so I'm not quite sure what that uh, means. Drivers could be obliged to bear considerable costs. Okay, okay. So that's the disadvantage. I'm not sure what this advantage is. That's not very clear. Maybe it would be explained better in the rest of the essay. According to some resitting now, you need a definite article, the driving test, because it's a particular test. Okay. Should be compulsory with drivers every five years. That's good. Professional drivers. What? You mean what? Ambulance, police, fire, uh, taxes. Who? Who by, by the rules of the road. It would be better than to reducing road traffic accident victims. Okay, so now I would be clear to spell out. So this is obviously a benefit. This is obviously an advantage. But you need to be, be clear that this is a dis, the dis advantage. So you need to say this would be a downside, a disadvantage, etc. But apart from that, that's pretty good. Not bad. Uh, okay, I'm not going to say anything more about that. We don't need these kind of sentences. It, it's, it's pointless. A waste of words. Uh, some individuals assume, they don't assume, they say that they should. Should. It's not the same thing. Every five years period, five year period, it's ought to participate again in driving. Oh, right. Driving test takers ought to participate again into driving exam forcefully. You mean uh, some individuals, you mean, you mean some people believe that 
drive that drivers should retake their test every five years. Though that this paraphrasing is not very good at all. I think that's you know just your general English uh, needs a bit of attention here. And this tells me nothing. There have been what there have been or there are some now, which are so this. This is one of those empty sentences uh, of which I, which I spoke and which I wrote in the group. It's a waste of words. It is said that drivers must pass the driving test, definite article to the driving test, a particular test, each five years, every five years. You don't, and you can just say every five years. You don't need to say a period because, and we don't need a comma here it will be beneficial to our society. Okay, end that sentence there. Uh, the best advantage is, which well, not is, it would be because it's not happened yet, will be better driving behavior on the street and roads by drive the, what? By checking driver's health, uh, by checking Driver's health, is this what, what you mean? I'm passing an updated routine test. Although, although that disadvantage is only to individual drivers, it might suffer some economical cost or stress. Okay, okay. Could be a little clearer. Again, I think it's mainly, you know, English. Needs a bit of attention there. It's, it's not bad, but you know, it could be a little better phrased a little better. Good in some, it is better to make pressure. Mm, not good in terms of qualification. You mean to compel drivers to reset. Their driving license. How would this spell license? Is it LIS? I can never rem remember. How would this spell license? Ah, that's it. Okay. Every five years. Personally speaking, the advantages of retaking the driving test, such as reducing the number of improper drivers, will continue to. It's disadvantages. How can an advantage continue to a disadvantage? I'm not sure what that uh, means. For example, lateral expense of retaking tests. And why is why are these in brackets? I mean, sorry, in, in uh, quotation marks. What's the point of that? I'm not not sure what this means. And the examiner will not either. Recently, oh. Uh, Some people think that having a retake driving test creates problems. No, they don't. Nowhere does it say that. It thinks the... So, right. Hmm, right. This, irrelevant, doesn't say it. You don't put this kind of... This should be in your body paragraph. If you want to give an example, it should be in your body paragraph to prove your point. It shouldn't be here in the introduction. All we need here is to restate the topic and briefly answer the questions. That's it. So some people don't think it creates uh, problems, nor do they think doing it, whatever it is, reduces it. I personally for oh, okay, okay, then it's gonna person and then you've got empty sentence, well empty phrase. So hmm, I think this needs uh, reworking somewhat. Okay, because it we don't need that. That's not what it says. Uh, and you don't mention what the disadvantage might be, then you've got an empty phrase that's basically a waste of words. Argued by the number of people. What do you mean? Some people. But drivers, it's not could. Modal verbs are not could is not should. 
should be obliged to repeat their driving exam every five years. Ms. Essie will discuss. Oh, hang on, sorry, the traffic noise outside my office. Okay. Hang on a sec, some car. Oh, Christ. Hang on, I'll just pause for a second. Okay, that's better now. Sorry, a bit of traffic noise. So, it's argued by some people that drivers should be obliged to repeat their driving exam every five years, okay. The SSA will discuss a major advantage, well it's not a discussion really, it's, you know, it, it simply says, tell me what you think the advantages and disadvantages are. That's not a discussion, is it? A discussion is when you're looking at two different sides of, of something. Here, you're simply saying, I think this and I think that. Another discussion is drivers readjust what drivers readjusting to new traffic rules while the main traffic is time consuming bureaucracy for regular driving test adds to people's schedule um okay okay that's not too bad it's uh understandable okay i think that's it so okay here's my introduction again And, as I said, try to avoid these overgeneralizations for your introductory sentence. We don't need it. Simply get to the point. Some people think blah, 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 blah. In my view, the main advantage or advantages are, is blah, blah, blah. However, possible disadvantages could be blah, 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 blah. That's it. And none of these empty sentences, this essay will seek to shed light. Simply answer the question. That's what it wants you to uh, do. I keep on showing this, but I'm going to show you it again. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me drag this over here. Right. I'm going to highlight this. Clear position which directly answers the questions. So how hard is that? So keep this in mind at all times. Be clear, direct, get to the point. That's what the examiners say they want. This is what they want. So avoid empty sentences, avoid overgeneralizations, and you'll be fine. Okay, I hope that helps.